What? Seth Sink. Ah. I put I put I I accidentally put my my Rice Krispie Treat sticker on my on my my keyboard stand. Oh. Okay. There you go, buddy. All right, Seth. Are you the asshole? Am I the asshole? Are you the asshole? I sure hope not. Yeah, uh, you might be. I think that's you, buddy. I think. Whoa! You say so many mean things. You say so many mean things about me. You say so many mean things about me. Fuck you. Ah, I don't uh, I, I'm nothing but a gift to you, buddy. No. I'm a blessing. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll give you a pass because you're, you're coming on my channel here. But, but, but why are you ask? Why are you asking whether or not I'm the asshole, Eddie? Oh, I just I just like to talk about assholes. Like Which is why we're here on this subreddit, Am I the Asshole? Have you Yay! seen this before on YouTube? You probably oh, have. No, it's all over like YouTube shorts and shit. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not creative people. Am I? Can I? Can I do, be the the guy in the background doing the Minecraft parkour? And then, and then you'll read you'll read it off <laughs> yeah. to everyone. Yeah, no, Seth isn't here to give any commentary. He's just no, gonna no, play, no, 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 no. He's gonna play Jetpack I'm a, I'm a mindless Joyride. Drone. I can create a post. Is Seth the asshole? Hey. I can't unwrap a Rice Krispie package. Is he the asshole? Oh shit. Okay, well we're we're in for some reading here. Good thing I got my water. Guys, this yeah, video is sponsored by Water. Drink Thank up. you, Big Water. We love you, Big Water. Start the video. I, I, the video has started. We're, okay. we're starting. Am I the asshole for canceling my stepdaughter's Diwali celebration? Uh, but I am from India. I have two children. Oh god. Uh, Prakyet and yeah. Rhea. Rhea. Okay. Rhea. Oh. Uh, the latter of which is my stepdaughter. We were bursting crackers in the lawn of our bungalow during the You were evening. doing what? <laughs> you were bursting who? <laughs> God damn it. Seth's gonna get me canceled. Um, <laughs> That's our word, buddy. <laughs> oh, Merrick. I mean, no, fuck, I won't, I won't double down on that. <laughs> yeah, let's... Alright, moving on. Hold uh, on. Oh god, I, okay, we were bursting crackers in the lawn of our bungalow during the evening. There's an American kid in the next block who's 11, year, who's 11 years old himself. Alex, he's autistic. As we celebrated, Alex was headed somewhere with his parents. He rushed over when he noticed the crackers, asking us what we were doing. Prakiet explained to him, and while Rhea remained silent, he asked the kids whether he could burst some crackers himself. Rhea said, sorry, but it's not for, I'm not going to say that word. Oh. Uh, like you. His parents had heard what she said and were shocked, including myself. I asked Rhea to make an immediate apology, but she refused. She had only said the truth, uh, and that Alex would hurt himself as he's autistic. I was extremely embarrassed, and even my wife asked her to apologize once, but she refused. I apologized to the parents who did not say anything as they walked away with Alex. I was livid and asked Rhea to get back to her room that she was grounded for a week, canceled the party for her and said she wasn't bursting crackers. She became hysterical, telling me that was too much, but I did not budge, and in the end, she was forced to remain in her room. It was not allowed outside. I took Prakyet to Alex's house later with some Diwali sweets, and apologized again, and this time they were a little bit more pleased about the apology. My wife says I went too far, and that although she should not have said that, my punishment for a week and no celebration for her ruined it for her, etc. Well, Seth? Uh, I don't know. That, I think she's not the asshole. I think that is so warranted. You mean uh, Especially if she's like, not like understanding that what she said is bad. She's just like, no. Fuck it, no. Won't apologize. Like, no. No, no, no. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. That is very right. If you're an 11-year-old and your parents tell you not to say something, I feel like you should just you, you should listen like, to oh, them. Is that a bad thing to say? Yeah, you should. To say? I won't say that anymore. I'm done. No you don't know better that. than them. You don't know better than them. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Uh, am I the asshole for telling my mom that I wish my sister was never born? <laughs> yes. Yeah, full stop, yes. <laughs> uh, full st <laughs> Yeah, you suck. My 14... I'm... Okay, so this person is a 14-year-old male. Get off Reddit, please. <laughs> yep. Sister, nine female is autistic and she needs to be looked after most of the time. Oh my full god. Stop. Full this stop, full stop. So yes, you're the asshole. Yes, you're the asshole. <laughs> full, full stop, yes. <laughs> you're a 14 year old, but, so you have time to change, but you're an asshole. Yeah, you're uh, an asshole for now. For now. For now. She's you not, not an asshole. She's not super low functioning, but she's also not, she's not high functioning either. She barely speaks and she has a bunch of sensory issues with make Makes her have a lot of meltdowns. She was born, I've had to look after her, and the older I get, the longer I'm expected to look after her for. I don't have any proper friends because I never have time to hang out with them because I'm always looking after my sister. If I have plans with my parents, pl plans are... If I have plans, my parents' plans are always more important. 
Even if I already had plans, I'm expected to look after her when my parents are busy. I was getting ready to go to see my friend because we were going to celebrate his birthday. My mom came into my room and told, told me I'd have to look after her so my parents could go to a restaurant together. We got into an argument because she'd known that I was, I'd be going out like a month in advance. We were both yelling at each other and I said I was, wish my sister was never born. She grabbed me for a month and told me I was disgusting for saying that. I know it's a really shitty thing to say. Watch your language, child. And none of this is my sister's fault, but everything would have been so much easier if she never existed. Double it down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a cake for my birthday and not have to give her 80% of it. 80% of a cake. Jesus Christ. I don't think I don't <laughs> think that's true. That's that's weird. That's not a thing that anyone needs. 80% of it. 80% of the cake. One person. What is your fucking sister, The Rock? Holy shit. Okay, it'd, it'd be nice to have time to see my friends and not to spend all of my free time looking after her. I hate her so much, she's ruined my life. My dad, ag my dad agreed with my mom and told me I'm a really bad person. It's been making me really, really feel like shit. I don't know if I'm the asshole or not. You are the asshole. You are. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let, me, let, me, let me open it up real quick. Like Maury. And you are the asshole. Whoa! Asshole. Asshole, 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 asshole. asshole. We're, we're yes, bullying. holy shit, yes. Uh, <laughs> like, that sucks. Your parents doing that sucks, and they should maybe... You should have talked with them about having, like, a little more respect towards your time. But yes, you're the asshole. For saying what you said. Yeah, for saying what you said, you're the asshole. There's an uh, Yeah, maybe maybe don't blame it on your sister. Maybe blame it on your parents <laughs> and be like, Hey, let me have... Let me do things. That's, yeah. what, that's what you should... The e that's the way easier thing around it. But no, if that's how you're thinking about your... Nine-year-old autistic, autistic little sister. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not great. No, but that's so that's so that's so fucked to be like a literal month in advance birthday and then be like, hey, we wanted BJ's. Sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna go Goodbye. get some canes. We're just... gonna go get Texas Roadhouse now. <laughs> just some shitty restaurant. We're gonna After. go to Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Wait, hey, don't, don't go crack real shitty now, okay? Oh That's the God. one they have. The white meter just keeps going up, huh? <laughs> they got... Oh, uh, our jokes aside, Eddie, I think they have my favorite pancakes ever. I love their pancakes. Pancakes? So pancakes, pancakes for all. Pancakes for all. I've never been to Cracker Barrel before. I'm just kidding. It's really good. We'll, we'll, we'll go uh, next time we come down. That's what I'll say. There's one by... Okay. <laughs> We're going to have the whitest day of our lives. <laughs> Because the closest Cracker Barrel to me also has a Bass Pro Shop right next door. Oh, Jesus. We're going to... That, that's, We're a YouTube, going both. that's a We're YouTube going video. Both. Having the widest <laughs> day ever. Uh, am I the asshole for making my son's stepdad cry? Really weird way to phrase that. Wouldn't that just be your husband or something? I don't... Whatever. Uh, I share custody of my two boys. Seven... Oh, no. Okay, you're the dad. Okay. All right. I get it. I share custody of my you know, two boys, seven and ten, with their mom. She remarried, remarried a few years ago to Chris Doxib. <laughs> Our custody agreement is fairly black and white. And, oh God, we said one of Seth's trigger words. It includes a right of first... First. Or my Crocs! <laughs> first. 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 <laughs> Meaning that if me or my ex needs a sitter, then we have to ask the other parent first. My ex and I started to get along because of our agreement. Okay. She was supposed to pick up our kids yesterday and I and keep them until Thanksgiving. I called her, Jesus Christ, that's a long time. I called her to go over there to schedule for next week and she said that she was going out of town for business and we'd be back on Monday. I asked when she was going to tell me that and she said, calm down. She, and, she said Chris was going to be home and had planned a surprise trip to Dave and Buster's with our kids and our couple no! of our friends. For, until Thanksgiving? Yeah. Dave and Buster's for all Dave week. <laughs> so many that's tickets. Two, that's two weeks. Hold on, I'm gonna go take out a leg really quick. Just super. I'm a speed run Allegra. Depo, buddy, depo. I thought you did depo. I thought you did depo. Yeah. 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 Sure. He misses me so much, you know. He, he pretends I'm there on the couch. Asks me to dap him up. He makes extra pancakes for me. I'm not there. It's a sad sight, really. See what a strong man fall to such such pieces. Oh, breaks your heart. Have to put him down someday. Take him out. Have a look at the. Rest.
rabbits. Maybe take him to Cracker Barrel, Bass Pro Shop, make sure he has a good last day, and then while he's while he's there munching on some pancakes. I am like 90% sure you just described the plot to Shutter Island. <laughs> Could you hear that? <laughs> yes, I know. So I have wireless headphones. I, I just wear them everywhere. <laughs> oh, you you forgot. No, don't just, just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's nice. Back to Dave and Buster's. I said I'm not okay with you making childcare plans behind my back. You're supposed to ask me first. I said it puts me in a bad situation because if I just say okay, then you'll do it again. Had you run it by me, then I would have been then I would had been okay. I can't let it go, but as a consolation, I'll take the kids and their friends to Dave and Buster's. She called later. Said she spoke to Chris and he cried when she said I would take the kids instead of him. She said he was really looking forward to spending time with the boys. And was going through a rough time and the boys and their friends are the only thing that makes him happy. He had picked up overtime to pay for everything and bought his son, my, my son's friends stuff like underwear and shirts from Old Navy because they need new clothes. What? She asked me... She asked, she, what? She asked what me... What the lot, fuck? <laughs> Don't do that, Chris. <laughs> God, what are you doing? You're what the fuck? That's weird. That's so. If my kid ever came home and we're like, I got new. Where'd you? We're just like, where'd you get this underwear from? Chris, 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 Uncle Chris. I would <laughs> fucking shoot him with a gun. I swear. <laughs> the kid or Chris? <laughs> the Chris. Fuck Chris. <laughs> That's so creepy. That's so weird. I was okay with it until right then. <laughs> All right, anyways, she asked me to let Chris take them all to Dave and Buster's, plus it would look weird if I show up to pick up the boys, friends, and the parents were expecting Chris. I said no, and I don't really want to go to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> the, all the friends... <laughs> I really don't want to go to Dave and Buster's. They're at his house right now. All the kids and, and like the, his friends are behind him, like, just typing fucking away on Reddit. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh, I don't even. I don't fucking know. It's this is so no. I think, I think you're the asshole. I think Chris is a fucking creep. <laughs> that's my that's my opinion. Cause why the fuck? What, what are you like? Uh, wait, hold on. I I need to read that line again. I said I'm not okay with you making childcare plans behind my back. What does that even mean? Like just that Chris is watching over them. He's also a fucking adult. <laughs> yeah. Granted, a weird creepy adult who shouldn't be near kids. But he's an adult. I don't fucking know. I just like this guy's getting all bent up about nothing to me. Like, who gives a fuck if Chris wants to take him to Dave and Buster's? It, <laughs> like, know. like, like that's the thing. When she has custody of them, Chris is doing shit with them anyways. Who yeah, cares? It's not like they're just like doing fucking crack in the corner. They're going to Dave and Buster's with Chris. <laughs> Dave and Which Buster's might be worse, with Chris. <laughs> Uh, this one, this one's interesting. Am I the asshole for not serving a full meal at my birthday party? <laughs> he's just got a, he's just got some crackers out. What do you... <laughs> hey guys, saltines over there on that table, and that's it. Saltines, and that, oh shit, what's the You cheese? can't bring up crackers again. I, I, I don't know I didn't catch that. You can't bring up crackers again, buddy. <laughs> oh. We've said cracker more time in this video than I think all of my other videos could No, literally all of my life, I think I've said crackers more time in this video. Okay, my husband and I hosted my 29th birthday yesterday, and I invited six of our friends, three couples that we consider our core friend group. I had come across the concept of molecular food pairings? What the f What? <laughs> Motherfuckers just- What? Jesse! You're an asshole, you're a fucking dweeb! <laughs> you're a nerd! That's <laughs> even worse! Nerd. That's even worse! Nerd. Ah. Four eyes. Uh, that's, uh, that's my vote. You know what you get for your birthday? Punch! For me. For me, a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> oh, that's right. what I should have said, damn Two it! Two pieces of bread! And ready! Two pieces of bread! And who's coming towards the camera with the bread? <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, <laughs> I, I, whatever. I had come across the concept of molecular food pairings a few months ago and was really intrigued by the idea. Some of the recommended pairings require expensive ingredients like caviar that I can't justify buying on an average day. My birthday seemed perfect, so that's what the theme was. A molecular tasting party, I put a total, together a total of 15 courses, but they were very small, just a few bites each. There was also a moderate amount of other snacks laid out and cocktails. My husband and I both had a really good time. We ranked the pairings, had drinks, and played card games. But everyone enjoyed themselves too. This afternoon, we got a text that was presumably sent to the wrong 
group chat that said, can we just be honest and say that whole thing was weird? She's like this every year. The rest of us just go out. How has she not gotten the idea yet? It's rude. Another person replied, at least last year she made an actual meal. I might have even brought a gift. I said, what the fuck back? And the whole chat has been silent since. I don't know what to think. It really hurt my feelings. I don't feel like they like me at all if they talk about me like that. But also, if I'm making people feel like they're forced to participate in things they think are weird, that's a selfish thing to do, and maybe they're right. Oh, this poor person. No, not the asshole. What? Hold on, I need to read it again, because it's just... It's a... It's a tasting party. Yeah, 15, this is... Fifteen? Fifteen separate court Like, mini courses? Are you kidding me? And you're like... That is... That's a full, a full meal. meal. Not a full meal. Not a full meal. Not a full meal. That's hating fun. I think you hate fun. Like, I wanted one... Big rotisserie chicken for myself, <laughs> and that's all. Fuck you. I want a 24 ounce ribeye steak, <laughs> baked potato, broccoli. No drink. No drink. <laughs> that's too much food. That's too much. When you when you go over three, too much. Uh, me and Eddie. If you see this video yeah. for whatever reason, me and Eddie will go to your 15 course. Yeah, okay user steak. stay solicium. Oh my god. Just you know, reach out to You us might be a nerd, Eddie's but we'll come to your birthday party. Yeah, you're fine. Sorry, I didn't... I didn't oh, this was that post, huh? I didn't mean the nerd stuff. <laughs> no, I, I retract, did. You're I a nerd. The knuckle no, no, the you're sandwich. a nerd, but you're a cool nerd, all right? You're a cool nerd. Okay, I'll, I'll go to that. We might beat you up, but we'll still be better than those people. <laughs> we'll beat you up, and then we'll kiss you after to say we're sorry. You know, this reminds me of the time I went to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? How? Or, 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 You're or, an idiot. Or. You know what? I think after all this shit, my vote is that you're the asshole. I'm the asshole. You didn't share. You didn't share any any remorse for what they, they've done to these good people. These these terrible assholes. And I think that's because you're one of them. Whoa! How dare yeah. you, sir? You yeah. know what? I don't take this stuff lightly, especially from a man who uses an android. Yeah. Yeah. Making it so I... You? Making it, making it you? so I can't change the pictures on our group chat. Fuck you. You're the asshole. No, no, no. Please. I just... It was one mistake. My, my Samsung. It was one mistake. I yeah. Didn't, I didn't mean it. That's one mistake too many. And where are those pancakes? So well. Where are those pancakes? God damn it. Yeah, Attack this man. Attack this man! If you Fuck see him. him! If you see him on the- We go to war! If you see Asshole him, war! If you see him on the streets, throw your shit at him! If you see Eddie Blueback in the streets, you're probably an organ. That's true. So you should get out of there. Yeah! yeah. Wait. Yeah! No. Not bad. I'm gonna have my allergies. <laughs> Alright, well, Mr. Sniffles here has a Twitch and a YouTube. Go check those out. Where can Twitch they find you? Uh, YouTube is here. Uh, do I get to this camera, this camera, this camera? Tell, tell me what you're doing. I'm streaming and that's it. I'm making a video at some point. Deleting, I don't know when. Deleting Texas speedrun. Deleting soon. Texas speedrun coming. I could I could make that today. That'd be funny. I also yeah, stream I on Twitch. Go check that out. Twitch.tv slash Blue Liner. You can find it right there. Right here. Pew, 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 pew. Look at mine. Look at mine. Look at my Twitch. I don't know where it's pointing. I don't know where it's pointing. I don't know where it's pointing. Uh, 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 everywhere. Twitch, Twitch is everywhere. Twitch, 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 Twitch. All right. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a like. And you know what you else should, should do? If you're subscribed to Harry is Harry, unsubscribe. Fuck that guy. All right, see you later, everybody. Bye. Starting. To, oh my god, dude. Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking. They're, they're essays, bro. They they cut out like half the shit. <laughs> just after every single one, just just reply to all of these with the one that says, with like that meme where it's like, I ain't reading all that. Happy for you though. Sorry that happened. <laughs> well, so actually where I thought it was going was that they canceled it because he said bursting crackers. And I thought like he canceled it because I thought where it was going to go was they canceled it because- Too many white guys got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to- I'm not going to- My friends are shooting a video. I know they're shooting a video. I come in to bother them anyways. Am I the asshole? Uh, yes. So yes. Like, uh, my vote is yes. He is the asshole. I I also vote that he is the asshole. He's yeah, you got voted out, buddy. Yeah, two votes. Yeah, you're hashtag, right. Yeah. Hashtag hashtag cancel Harry is Harry. And we're out.